Five bucks. A lady gave me this whole roll for five bucks because they didn't have any toilet paper in the store. To so, sell. Wasn't that nice? They just bought the store two weeks ago. <laughs> None of these restocking boxes have toilet paper. None of them. It's all either paper towels or garbage bags, forks, paper plates. No toilet paper, laundry detergent. I think they're doing it on purpose because there's no toilet paper anywhere in any of these boxes. So you're telling me nobody's restocking toilet paper? Really? Wheaties? But no toilet paper in any of these boxes. And now what's wrong with that picture? Lot, lots of shrimp. Lots of shrimp. Lots of bananas. Nobody wants bananas. They're healthy. Sweets. No sweets. Nobody wants Power aid. Walmart Atlanta. <laughs> oh. Is it for me? Hey, Mr. Walmart driver, you got toilet paper. Tatiana's toilet paper. You have toilet paper, Mr. Walmart truck driver. I don't know. Lights are on. Should I go ask him? So, I asked everybody. I went to tons of stores and 
Nobody has toilet paper. So I saw all these boxes in Walmart. They're restocking all shelves. Do you know I saw not one empty box of toilet paper? I saw lots of boxes of paper towels and napkins and paper plates and um, forks, plastic spoon. <laughs> but not one empty box of toilet paper. Not even an empty box. Really? I don't know, man. Something's not right here. How could there may not be one empty box of toilet paper? And all the thermometers are gone. So I thought, huh, how about the baby section? So I did find a three-in-one baby thermometer kit. You got to buy the whole kit. But the kit was like $15. And one thermometer might be $15, I don't know. I can't find mine. But I just want to make sure I don't have a fever and I'm not contagious anymore because my throat is not sore. I just don't have a voice. And I always lose my voice during allergy season. Um, if you notice, I forget where I was at. Oh, when I was in the Keys, I had all those shrubberies and I started losing my voice while I was taking a walk. <clears throat> so, I have my inhaler and I feel great. <laughs> And I have a, a wet cough, not a dry cough. And my sore throat is gone, but I can't sing while I'm driving, which is really annoying. And Danny just likes to be serenaded. So I'm going to my humble abode over here at Walmart in Atlanta, Georgia. And we're bound to my home, going to my own base. My family is waiting for me. That's nice. Good night. Safe travels. Be healthy. Remember, God has got this. I'm confident. Good morning, YouTubers. Yep, I... <clears throat> I am getting my voice back. I am. And I am at a Walmart and um, <clears throat> right outside... outside Atlanta so <clears throat> I am uh, there's cops all over the place cops all over the place they must be getting a shipment of paper uh, toilet paper in Everybody's kind of hanging out around the toilet paper area. But I got to tell you, <clears throat> I just I realized that <clears throat> it is much better to just use. They have county, city, and state police here. Ridiculous. Nobody's doing them, but they're going to be soon... <clears throat> I think they're going to be putting the toilet paper out soon. And the reason I think this is because they called all associates. It's 
guy over here is laying on the cement. They called all associates to the back that from clothing. And there's hardly anybody in the store right now. So I think <clears throat> my opinion, my professional opinion on toilet paper is that they're waiting for things to slow down in the store before they actually pull it out. So there's a homeless person over here sleeping on the ground outside the Dollar Tree. So he's hiding himself behind boxes. Really? That's a good idea. Because three squad cars drove right past him and didn't even see him. I can see his big feet. He's got huge feet. One of them has a boot on it because he must have broke his leg. He's just laying right out in front of the store. <clears throat> right out in front of the store. Funny. So it's nine o'clock and I'm mega dosing with vitamin C. And um, I feel great. I just lost my voice now. So I got this vitamin C stuff. Thousand MGs. So um, I watched a video from this doctor and she said that you should at minimum 3,000 MGs of vitamin C a day. <clears throat> But if you're sick, you need to do more. So, <coughs> but flush the water. So I put the vitamin C in my water. <coughs> I wanted to run into the GNC, but I don't think it's open yet. I'm gonna check it out. Hang on. Okay, YouTubers, it's a quarter to ten. A quarter to ten in the morning. And I'm in downtown Atlanta. Hardly anybody on the road. This is usually packed, this highway. I-75. And I've been there, through this highway many, many, many times. So I guess people are staying home. I was, uh... That lady, look at that person's going the wrong way on the wrong way. Oh my God. Oh my God. They're in the wrong lane. Anyway, went to McDonald's, but they wouldn't let me go inside. So I had to walk through the drive-thru because they, there's no room for a camper. But I had to go for coffee because I needed coffee. I did, they did let me go through. The Shell didn't have coffee, but look what I got at the Shell. Toilet paper, four rolls, actually five. I got a big sucker roll all the way over there in the corner. See that? So I got that one roll and these four rolls. Five rolls of toilet paper. So funny. Getting back on interstate due to Chattanooga Choo Choo. Later. I eat my french fries and my hamburger. I haven't. It's the 
is the second time I've had McDonald's, I think, in the last week. That's okay. 